check for a string now so far we were doing everything for the digits we saw the matching of the single digit we saw the matching of the double digit and we also saw the splitting of the digit now we are gonna check for a string in this session we will talk about the string how we can match and extract string with the help of the regular expression example number six first to import the regular expression library and then x equals to moin then y equals to re dot find l of a to z inside the close brackets with the quotes comma x take the print of y it will return this output o e i n look we are checking for a string now we are doing matching and extracting for a string first to import the regular expression library and then here x equals to moin this information has been saved with the name x if i want to access this information i will call x this x is this x what about y y equals to r a regular expression dot final of a to z this is the regular expression don't forget don't forget you have to enclose this a to z range inside the close brackets with the quotes look we are taking the range from a to z from a to z but in lower case remember we are checking it for the lower case we are checking string for the lower case therefore it will return only the lower case lower case characters which are o e i n it will skip m m is in upper case this range is only for the lower case so m will not be printed in the output we will only have o e i n they have been separated they have been separated here in the output it is because of this regular expression now if you still have no idea about this regular expression please go back and check the introduction introduction of the regular expression i have explained many regular expressions in detail example number seven import re regular expression library x equals to you need more lies to protect one lie y equals to re that find all of a to j comma x take the print of y it gives the output in this form e e d e e e c e e this will be the output again look at here we are checking for a string we have no concern with the digits we are only checking for a string here so as usual first to import the regular expression library in the python which is re r stands for the regular e stands for the expression it is a regular expression so import the re library in python and then x equals to you need more lies to protect one lie this is the information which has the name x in the computer memory and then y y is re regular expression dot find all of a to j comma x this x is this so this output is because of this y the job is done here in this expression this output is because of y when you take the print of y so the whole process takes place here r e dot final of a to j comma x this a to j is the range look our range is from a to j not from a to z so whatever character comes within this range from a to j it will be printed in the output but make sure it will be in lowercase it will be in lowercase not in uppercase so look this x is this this program will analyze it will check this line which is the x line and will print only those characters in the output which lies in the range of a to j a to j so we have e and then e d e and e here e here and then c here e here and e here these are the only characters which lie within the range of a to j a to j in the lowercase form it is the regular expression this is the regular expression a to j inside the closed brackets is the regular expression it is checking for a string in the lowercase from a to j and here is the output this is the output example number eight input re which is the regular expression library and then x equals to you need more lines to protect one lie and then y equals to r e dot find l of a e i o u comma x take the print of y its output will be empty set look again we are checking for a string so as usual 
first to import the regular expression library and then the x value is this this is the x value you'll need more lies to protect one lie this piece of information has been saved with the name x in the memory and then y why do all this job here why do all this job with the help of re.findall re.findall of a e i o u this is the regular expression this is the regular expression we are matching and extracting only only these characters which are in the uppercase we are only concerned with that specific that specific characters inside the closed brackets which are in uppercase comma x x is this value so what the program does the program will check all these uppercase characters in the x in the x and will print them in the output but look at here when you take the print of y it will return the empty set empty set because there is no matching there is not a single character among them which lies here look in the uppercase we have only one character which is y only y lies in the uppercase there is no other character which lies in the uppercase in this statement but look we don't have y here y is not a choice a e i o u are the characters so there is no a e i o u uppercase characters in this line therefore it will return the empty set there is no matching the program didn't match any of these any of these characters therefore it returns empty set in the output